morning, good morning, good morning. How was your week last week? So um, the cards that I pulled for myself last week were very apt. Um, it was a lot about my vision and where I was moving forward. Um, and it's funny because I was just having a conversation with someone who asked if I'd had any, um, any more celebrity spirits or famous spirits coming through to me. And last week, whilst I was doing yoga and I had my eyes closed, I could see Mother Teresa. And I thought, this is really strange. Why is she coming through? And we carried on just doing my yoga. And I was recounting this this morning to a friend. So when I've pulled the cards for this week, right, look which card came out. Activists seeing Mother Teresa. I thought, oh, it's hilarious. I love it. So, so these, so yeah, so I'll do the cards in a minute for this week. Um, on Sunday the 9th of February. We've also got the full moon going into Leo, so I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end, okay? Cool. So, Mother Teresa, activist. So I feel as if this week is all about taking action. So whether you have ideas already in place, whether there are things that you want to do, um, I feel as if this week is a very much doing week. So anything that has been on your to-do list for a while, anything that you want to create, um, this is the week to do it. And I feel as if as well, sort of like with this card, there's so much purple on this. It's a, There's a lot of, I feel as if there's a lot of healing going on for many of us. And... I feel as if by through doing this work that we've been doing, through doing this healing, through going through these processes, what it's allowing us to do is to really, um, it's like gaining clarity with your vision and where you want to go. So for some of us, we might have felt as if we've been in this sort of dark cave for a while. And it's really weird because, or not weird, um, at the weekend we had, and I'll try and pronounce this properly. I've been calling it Imbolc for ages, but I think it's pronounced Imbol. So do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's a, it's when the light starts coming back in and it's all to do with rebirth. And it's really funny because today on my radio show, I'm going to be talking about past lives and reincarnation, which is rebirth. Tomorrow, um, I'm talking to a lady on my YouTube program, The Spiritual Journey, about her past life as a Bronte sister, which is going to be absolutely fascinating. And then on Thursday, I'm having a conversation with Amanda Joy Harrison, who has her radio show on Radio Shields Northeast. And we're talking about rebirth as well. So this week, it's, it's about becoming sort of like more of you. So if you've sort of been playing it a bit quiet, playing it a bit low, this is your opportunity to really sort of shed it's like I've just been shown like a snake you know when a snake sheds its skin I feel as if for many of us that's what we're going to be doing this week we're shedding a layer of skin um obviously not literally um and becoming more of us like a shinier sparklier sort of us so that's what I get from that card and I feel as if as well with Mother Teresa just with her energy, she was very given, do you know what I mean? And she never asked for anything in return. And the more that we do give from our hearts, the more that we receive without wanting to receive it, if that makes sense. So the next card I got was Angel of Finances. So it says, honour and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. So I feel as if with this card as well, it's it's talking about the things that we are creating, we will receive blessings for. So again, it's to do with this giving and, and receiving. Um, and I feel as if the blessings that are going to come in, it's not just about the monetary value of things it's also going to be in other ways so for example you know you might get a discount on a bill for example or you I don't know you might receive a gift card for something or there's going to be like little things that are going to appear which are going to sort of make you be really grateful and thankful and by doing that by becoming grateful for what you're receiving 
it's going to raise your vibration as well so it's going to lift you a little bit and you're going to be like oh well if that's come out of there what else can i create what else can i do um the other one i got was beauty so i feel as if with this one again it's because there's this stillness of the person it's thinking about it's again i just keep getting creation and creating in my mind just me take a drink because i'm losing my voice so it's as if like it's as if these ideas which have been up here it's sort of like the ideas are sort of they're coming into fruition yeah and it's by taking that action that you can create this beauty in the world that you want to create so it might be a piece of art, a piece of music, a piece of writing, you know, whatever it is, sharing what's in your mind with others is going to help move you forward in the direction that you need to be going. And I just feel as well with this card that I want to say when you start to notice things around you that are beautiful, so be it sort of like sky a flower colors when you start to notice that beauty sort of like externally you're more likely to sort of recognize it within internally as well yeah what else did i know? where's the other one's gone they dropped out so the affirmation cards that i got for this week joy is the ultimate creator so whatever it is that you are creating if you're not happy about it don't do it yeah but when you're doing something and you're coming from a place of joy and happiness that's when you're going to be able to create the best things for your life okay when in doubt i choose to see peace okay so if you're sort of struggling if you're in two minds like what do i do what am i going to do this da, da, da. just come into that stillness if you can and just sit and ask yourself which which thing is going to make you feel happier and more at peace so if there's something that you feel you have to do rather than wanting to do then does that serve you does that serve your higher purpose so really just sort of take time out take a step back and choose to see <coughs> excuse me choose to see the peace in um in your decisions and then the final one I got was Arrow, which says surround yourself with protective energy. So I feel as if for this one, there may be people around you who are sort of, um, I call them naysayers, who don't agree with what you're doing, they're not happy with what you're doing, they think that what you're doing is a load of rubbish, etc. Um, but I feel as if for you, you need to, it's about learning to sort of, I don't want to say ignore their opinions but learning how to protect your own energies and your own emotions because I feel as if people want to come in and just sort of like uh, like knock down your idea do you know what I mean so I feel as if there's a learning that needs to be done around protecting your own energies from other people okay so i will leave that with you that is your readings for this week i hope you have a fabulous week oh i was going to mention full moon in leo as well sorry so the full moon goes into leo on sunday and um, i do have another youtube video out about full moon rituals um if you've never done one before and you want to look into it and explore it a little bit um and yeah, the full moon in Leo, it's about standing up and being proud of your achievements, proud of where you've come and what you've done so far. It's about shining your light and standing in your power and really owning who you are as a person and what gifts and talents you bring into this world, which I feel is where the creativity as well comes in and potentially Mother Teresa as well, because she stood up, you know, she shone her light and everyone knew who she was she had gifts she had talents um so yeah i'm not saying compare yourself to mother Teresa, but anyway anyway have a fabulous week all and um i look forward to seeing you soon bye